test today. Um, just three radios in the bag. The original Xiaomi, the new one, and a GT3 for reference. I'm gonna go over to the to the woods. I don't know if I've shown you some of the other videos. A little streaming because it's it's way down there. If you can see over the line of trees, it's way down there in a dip, and uh, it's a good test. Um, about a mile ish. Right, almost at the woods now. Uh, not too far to go. Really good view from up here. The, uh, for those who regularly watch my channel, the, the test where I do the range test is just over that horizon there along the road. Sort of there, <laughs> right over those trees. That's probably about seven or eight miles away. Right, we're dropping down into the woods now. It's not too steep down here. Keep walking. Right, we're going down in the dip, down there. Right, we got the new jammy in this sort of fading sunshine here in the in the woods. Okay, we're gonna we got this on the test frequency. Customize channel. Right, I'm going to try and stay in the same position with the Xiaomi so we get a fairly accurate test here. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable with the new Xiaomi radio in the woods testing 12345, 54321. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable with the new Xiaomi radio in the woods testing 12345. 54321, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We've got the older Xiaomi now. Soap bar radio. Let's see if we can get in with this. This is G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable, the old Xiaomi radio, the old Xiaomi radio, testing 12345, 54321, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable, the old Xiaomi radio, the old Xiaomi radio, testing 12345-54321, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, we're going to try the GT3 TP, uh, we're going to put it on low and high power as a reference here. This is G7 LNK portable with the GT3 on high power testing. Power testing in the bottom of the woods, 12345-54321. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, we try the GT3 on low power now as a reference. This is G7 LNK portal with the GT3 on low power. Down in the woods at the, uh, I'll say the first location, testing 12345, 54321. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, um, I don't know what that's come out like on the SDR, obviously. But um, we're going to go through the woods. There's some uh, family of deer in here. We're going to try and spot them, see if we can get them on camera again. And then we'll do one more little test down the bottom of the bank with the radios. Uh, out in a bit more free space, give them more of a test. And then we'll call it a day. Alright, so um, let's see if we can find this family of deer. Right, we haven't managed to spot any of the deer in the woods anyway, unfortunately. But we are very close to where we did our test the other day with the long and the short antennas. So we're going to go and stand up there and just try getting back to base with the radios from there. And um, see how we fare with these new radios. Right, 
Let's try the new Xiaomi. I keep calling it that, I've forgotten the model number. <laughs> this is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the new Xiaomi, the other side of the woods. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 7 LNK Portable with the new Xiaomi, the other side of the woods. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we got the old Xiaomi. This is G7 LNK Portal with the old Xiaomi, the other side of the woods. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The old Xiaomi there. G7 LNK Portal with the old Xiaomi, the other side of the woods. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, this is the GT3 on low power. This is G7 LNK. Portable with the GT3 on low power, the other side of the woods. UHF test, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this is the GT3 on high power. This is G7 LNK portal with the GT3 on high power. High power testing the other side of the woods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Well, I don't know what to say really about these two radios. I mean, I've had this one a little while, the old one, and not really used it that much. Um, primarily because I struggle to see the display, but I do like the styling of it. It's a really nice looking radio. It's definitely one for the shelf more than being used really in the field, which is a shame. Um, this one I, was, I bought on a whim. I was on AliExpress late one night. I thought, oh, that looks new and unusual. Um, things I like about it, it's got a belt clip. This one has no belt clip. Uh, it's very light. It looks really, really nice. It's got a nice big display, so I know what I'm reading. Really on the display, there's not much you can decipher. It's like a big dot matrix display. It does have Bluetooth connectivity, which might be useful if you want to go wireless. Um, not something I'm ever that worried about, really. Um, it has this location feature on the app. Again, not something I would use, but might be useful if you're remote, you're out somewhere where you can't get a cell signal and you all want to use your phones and know where each other, everyone else is. But for me personally, I'm never anywhere where there's no cell signal, not normally. So not really something I'm that too bothered about really, to be honest. Um, so yeah, the, the big downside with this is no FRS, no PMR frequencies. And also it has a total of 60 channels, 20 of, uh, 40 of which are fixed, 20 of them are on Chinese FRS frequencies if you like, and 20 are on Chinese ham frequencies and then they leave 20 for you to program. But you can only go up to 440 meg, which rules out FRS and PMR446. So, I mean, I mean some radio hams say it's a good thing, but then I can't really see like a really serious radio ham using one of these. Like I said before, I think they've they've uh, they've cut themselves out of a potential market there. So work to do maybe. There may be some hack firmware you can get for these that I'm not aware of that lets you open them up. I don't know, but um, I can't really recommend this radio really. Um, it's only really good if you're a ham, you want something really light and pocketable, stick in the old top shirt pocket and for people to, you know, a conversation piece really for when you get it out at uh, meetings and uh, things like that. Quite useful for that sort of thing, but otherwise I'd spend your money elsewhere. Right, I think we should go. I think that's enough for one day. If you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to tune into the next one. Plenty of content coming out now. We're on lockdown over here, so it should be time for me to get some content out to you guys. We're shooting off now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, stay safe, 73.